Hello, Sandra Embleton here. I have um, been very aware that uh, today, September 23rd, 2017, is a big day for a lot of people because we're expecting, the expectation is due to uh, the uh, Bethlehem star, due to the astrology in the sky, uh, depicting big things with uh, Virgo and Leo, uh, in co in connection with uh, the Bible and Revelation, people are uh, all over this on the internet, and they're wanting to understand uh, what it is that is happening. I can only share with you um, my uh, personal journey of what I believe Ascension is all about and what is actually happening. So for me personally, um, the last couple months, my life has led me to study uh, the Keys of Enoch, and uh, this is a picture of the book. This is the book of the Keys of Enoch, and this is also the Overself Awakening, and they're both written by Professor J.J. Hurtek, Ph.D., Ph.D., and lots of stuff, letters behind his name, which says he knows what he's talking about. So this is an incredible man. I've come to understand that he was taken up uh, left his body for two days and went to speak to Enoch and went to the Council of Nine in the Brotherhood. And I'm probably um, doing my best to remember uh, uh, the exact journey that I read in, in the introduction, but he came back after this time and was received this information for mankind in order to help us to ascend. And ascension is a process. It is something that you work towards. It's something that you learn about and you do your best to move into this holy place, this connection uh, with God and with the idea of our bodies moving to a light body, our bodies lifting in vibrational frequency and moving into a, a new a new light body, a new being, a new a new Adam Kadmon, which is what he talks about. I'm I apologize ahead of time if I am doing you uh, any injustice, uh, Dr. Hertek, but I'm so excited as to what happened because I actually feel, after um, reciting and learning um, some of the work that you've put forward, I feel that I am on my journey and I have begun the ascension process, and I know that I've. Uh, begun the ascension process because I'm receiving more wisdom. So uh, I just came back from being up north and I sat out on the beach and I began to read aloud the way that I was taught how to read uh, um, some of the Hebrew um, uh, pictures and names and I received these beautiful uh, pictures. This one's the, of the Tree of Life and it's just absolutely a beautiful uh, beautiful picture and after the tree of life we have the um, I don't have to get my glasses on here real video um, this is the divine blu blueprint of the law and these these just show various pictures this is actually the Mandela for ascension isn't it gorgeous with the purple and the white so the idea being you stare at the Mandela's and you recite um, the, the, the words uh, that come with it. And I don't want to disclose anything that I shouldn't right now. Um, I'd be more than happy to be forthcoming, uh, but I don't want to hurt anyone or get myself in trouble for, for releasing any holy words that, uh, that need to be um, embraced with the proper uh, mindset. Regardless, I took these names and these pictures and I recited them while I sat on the beach. And I did all of them uh, I did it for two days in a row, and what I discovered uh, was that after I had done this, I'm just showing these because they're such pretty pictures. This is the um, um, Shekinah Ash, and it's the Holy Spirit, and it's the feminine, no, it's the divine present, the flame, right? Um, yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous, and I know more about that, and oh, I love this one. Isn't that beautiful? And then finally, oh, I have to show them because they're so beautiful and they really invoke a, an energy to them. And when you stare at them, it's like you feel amazing. This is the best one of all. 
Bel Shaddai from God. Isn't it beautiful? Just amazing. So after reciting these words and being uh, in the presence, I started to receive more wisdom. I started to get more wisdom for ascension. And I wrote this down and I want to read it to you because what I received from God, what information, what wisdom came through, uh, was that the ascension is a, prog is a process, it's a progression. And you must seek out the information and know God. And once you seek out God and you start to um, understand him and let's say study these laws, it is your way of saying to God, hey, I want to I want to move closer to you. I want to know you more. I want to love you more. And the person that ascended uh, first was Jesus. And I have um, written a book. I haven't released it yet. And it is uh, an accounting of how I met that soul spirit and how he has... Uh, ascended and I believe he is returning and he was the one to first ascend and come back and tell people um, what it was like and I believe this is what's going to happen again uh, very shortly that he'll be here but regardless whether you're um, believing in that or not the point being is that you have the power within you to make this ascension process. And the idea of September 23rd, um, 2017, is that this process has now been activated. September 23rd is the activation time where we are going to be allowed to move on into these light bodies. The ascension process is underway and those people who are in it are going to begin their ascension process and I know it works because I'm receiving more and more wisdom um, the more I do this work and the more I recite um, the words that I'm being taught so words um, things that I got be prepared to ready to meet your maker we all get to meet God which is awesome um, so when you meet him, he'll call your name. Like you'll know, you'll know that it's your turn to ascend because you're going to hear him call your name. You're, you're going to hear him. You're going to start to be able to hear his voice. And you're going to be able to um, hear him when he says, you know, I'm going to call you, uh, Sandra Embleton. What, what have you done? Give an account of your days here. And um, you are to do that and he will start to give you more and more knowledge, greater, greater knowledge and your body uh, will become lighter and lighter and lighter until it's time for you to leave that body and to move forward. So September 23rd, what I believe is the time for the ascension gates to open and I also believe that um, we have this opportunity to move into a higher place of knowing and a higher place of being. I only hope I'm doing credit to this great man and the work he's done and I, I guess the, my testimony simply is, is saying yes I'm doing this work and I believe that this is a very important time and this day uh, is marking a time when we will begin to hear the voice of God very clearly it will become very clear to us and the more work we do to go towards that um, calling that understanding uh, that um, we will achieve uh, great results and um, I just on a personal note um, I actually wondered you know gee what if if this work really does work and I am receiving more wisdom ascension means well real I'm gonna leave, leave my body and, I, and I'm going to go to a new dimension. And then you think, well, what about my family? What about my friends? You know, is this, uh, am I ready to go? Am I ready to really leave my body and go to a higher uh, dimension? And because it's kind of like, oh, well, I, you know, do I want to ascend? Is, 
this is pretty powerful work. All I can tell you is that I was saying, no, no, I don't want to ascend. I want to stay with my family and whatever. And then, I don't know, I just, it, I just gravitated towards it. It just, it just called me. Because the truth is, I want to know. I want, I, I want to know. I want to experience it. Um, and, I, and also, I, I've got, I've had a lot of really crazy, wild, amazing things happen for me. And I do want to see Christ return. But I believe those people who are of a higher frequency uh, are the ones that'll see him. And those that stay in a negative frequency and think the stuff's a bunch of hoo-ha and, you know, who cares about it and whatever. And that's okay. Like, you know, they're just not being called right now. But if you are being called, if you're one of these people that are seeking out knowledge and seeking out wisdom and going, Ascension, September 23rd, we're all just going to leave our bodies all in one day. I don't think that's it. I think what's happening is uh, we're, uh, it's an individual journey. It's an individual choice whether you want to ascend or not, whether you want to meet Christ or not. He's here. He'll be back for those people that want to meet him and find out about Ascension. And if I have anything to do with it, I'm going to interview him and have him on one of my videos and uh, I think if anyone's got a good chance of doing that it's me so stay tuned and um, we'll just make more videos with more information and maybe someday I'll make a video with Dr. Hurtek mm. thanks for watching